ago I was woken up early by crashing sounds, wondered what it was and went to my window and saw it was workmen pulling down the fence between where I live and the neighbouring property. They later came back to erect a new fence and part of the discussion centred around on which way to face it. They used the terms of the ugly side and the nice side. After they completed their work I looked at the fence and realised what they meant by the nice side and the ugly side. For them the nice side was the smooth side and the ugly the cross beams. As I pondered this I realised there was something I could turn into a video and it's this whole concept of nice and ugly. So when you look at a fence you've got the smooth side so-called nice side and the other side with the cross beam that they were calling ugly. It then gave rise to further thoughts of how to put a positive spin on everything. After all they wanted the people who were paying for the fence to have the nice side they're smooth, but of course for me it turned out also the positive side was that I had the cross beams, you can put plants on it, hang things from the beams, etc, etc. Not always something that people think of directly when they erect a new fence around their property. But in general you will notice that they'll leave the smooth side to the outside. From this of course your mind can jump to many thoughts such as the way we present ourselves, the smooth side to the outside world can be good, can be bad. Of course we want to make our friends and neighbours happy so we always present the happy smiling side even though something might be troubling us inside. The negative of course is presenting the smooth side if you happen to be a con artist because of course they don't want to show their uglier side to the world. But then as we go on we always have to think not just why are they putting this fence up then I've got to look at the ugly side there's many stories that are picked up on in life that show that there can be a negative but you should be looking at the positive very easy to be negative in life but really the positive side. In fact these little trials and tribulations are always sent there to test us and if we rise above them we do become better people. So instead of always thinking why people are doing negative things to us, think what can we learn from it, what we can learn and how we can benefit. There's the story told of a farmer whose mule fell down a very deep and narrow crevasse. There was no way he could figure out of how to get the mule out. He was heartbroken, but he figured the best thing that he could do would be to just bury the mule right there on the spot. He 
gathered some of his neighbours together and they started to shovel earth into the hole. After a while he peered down expecting to see the mule fully covered and lo and behold there was a mule almost within hand's reach. The mule despite the image that we might have of them of being stupid animals every time some earth was thrown in he stepped on it and rose above it. This again I offer as an uh, little analogy to life that when troubles come upon us we can either let them bury us completely or we can use them to rise higher and overcome these difficulties and in the process become better people. After you finish watching this video I suggest that you type in Monty Python always look on the bright side of life it's a song used at the closing of their movie The Life of Brian there's Brian and some others strung up on a cross and one of his fellow I don't know what you want to call them but uh, fellow uh, people on a cross saying to him cheer up Brian always look on the bright side of life I'm not quite sure in that scenario what can be so bright but it does serve as a reminder and a little ditty to carry in your head that you should always be looking on the bright side of life 